If there's one thing in Counter-Strike that truly never changes, it's the maps. Nearly every map in the game is revered. They're tried and tested two decade old masterpieces. All except for one, Vertigo. I hate that map. I hate it. Good swing, good swing. Okay. This map is a nightmare. The worst map in CSGO is Vertigo by far. Such a bad map. We don't know what the we're doing. It's unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. But what if I told you that Vertigo was also the most important map in CSGO? Here we go, sees the feet. He's it's gonna have no north. idea, they Where's can't call, the call this. Whoa, Gratis, look at this! Oh my god, Yuri, that's perfect! So, not fully against them, kind of throwing caution to the wind, even though it's such an important moment. Run boost is out, Mayor, oh. he gets the kill off it! Two twists has popped off! As that smoke begins to fade, he will be on the chopping block with three players behind it. What are you doing? Uh, Can he see him there, or is that just gamble? Is that just RNG? What if I told you that Counter-Strike needs its worst map? Vertigo is one of the oldest and most hated maps in Counter-Strike. Created in 1999 by Chris Narby Audi, the architect of classics like Inferno and Aztec, Vertigo goes all the way back to CS 1.1. Of course, the skyscraper of 20 years ago looks very different than it does today and pretty much only reared its head in casual play. The reason for this is that like most of Counter-Strike's early community sourced maps, it was gimmicky, disorganized, and well, kind of a mess. For years, from the golden age of 1.6 to the advent of CSGO, Vertigo was basically irrelevant. Sure, it saw some action in casual contexts, but it didn't really matter. Why? Because it never made it into the tiny circle of CS maps worth caring about. You see, if there's one thing that Counter-Strike players hate, it's change. Especially changes to the maps, which instead of being replaced, have been undergoing touch-ups and repairs for the better part of two decades. In Counter-Strike, we have a game that has gotten to a place that we want it to be at. It has improved slowly towards this picture of perfection that we have in our heads about what the game should be. As the years went on and people just kept playing the same few maps over and over, it became obvious that while CS was an amazing game, it had one glaring problem. The map pool was getting really stale. And what's worse is that for the most part, people seemed okay with that. Even Valve's own official rework of Vertigo from 2012 was removed from the game in 2017 because no one played it. Valve hinted at the possibility of a rework, but no one noticed because, well, no one cared. But a few years later, Valve made them care. In January 2019, Valve stuck a reworked Vertigo into Wingman, CSGO's 2v2 versus mode. It only had one bombsite available to start, but as YouTubers like 3 Clicks Philip pointed out, who knew what the future could bring? This could be Valve experimenting with a new way of testing a map's changes. If this is the case, then once they're happy with this site, maybe they'll switch and bombsite A will be available for Wingman for a while, before the map is completely opened up and playable in full, competitive 5v5 matchmaking. And then, about two months later, the community was faced with an announcement they had to see to believe. Not only was Vertigo back in matchmaking, it was replacing Cash in the active duty pool. Cash had been in that pool since 2014, so this change was huge. With zero notice and minimal testing, Vertigo was thrown straight into the big leagues. Players were outraged at the suddenness of it all, but more importantly, they all agreed on one thing. Vertigo was a cluster f Oh my- G- Stairs, one, stairs. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you cry. Shit, the orange. What is one HP? I got one. Some developed a sense of humor about the map. Yeah, you did come from under. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. 
Honestly, this map is composition ready. Can't wait to see in the next major, and I'm glad cash is removed. Others got a little angrier about it. Pourquoi on joue cette map? Why do we play this map? So to God, this map is so bad. Needless to say, the community couldn't wait to see how the map would pan out on the game's biggest stage. After all, Vertigo's inclusion was both unprecedented and unexpected. The issue, of course, is that it didn't always lead to the most polished play. Nafly to save the map for Liquid to keep them in this. He must have all three reloading as well, but he saw the jump, taken damage, and backed into a corner. Nowhere to go somehow, still does more. He's almost no health left at home. How could he possibly make it out? 30 seconds and he walks into the fire. Oh no, 16 to 8. Flying off the building, walking into the fire. I don't know if there are other elements by which you can die, but he's trying a little bit of everything. That's a rough way to go. And the pros hated Vertigo. <sighs> I hate that map. I hate it. The worst map in CSGO is Vertigo by far because it's just like you just go A. Just go A, go A, go A. It's like you're spraying through smokes the whole game. There's not really like any outplay or any like any any way to other play the map besides just go A and spam. I feel like it's a lot of A executes and then the fact that you can hear everything like literally a level below just does not make sense to me at all. So what exactly was so wrong about Vertigo? Well, putting aside the part where you can literally fall off the side of the map and die, it was chaotic, claustrophobic, and extremely one-dimensional. People dislike Vertigo because it's a coin flip. You have to you have to battle a ramp and you have to end a ramp almost can like continuous. It's like long on dust two, be on inferno. You have to do it or you're just at a massive disadvantage. It also B doesn't really feel good to take and mid doesn't have high value either. So you're left with like very little creativity when it comes to your approach. Basically, there was only one site worth hitting and only one way to hit it. If you tried doing anything else, it was going to end in, well, memes. Because of the lack of creativity, there aren't a lot of different things you can do on the map right now. And that means the impact of like, what I mean from that is more from a spectator point of view. The impact of the map is a bit lame sometimes because you can't see some grand B execute. You've, you or like a different one or like different looks. Even on Inferno, there's different looks to like the B hits. Vertigo, there's like maybe one different A hit. Even at the highest levels of play, the map felt puggy and unrefined, as if it was pigeonholing top tier competition instead of complimenting it. The map itself is terrible, but it's a great comparison both for the maps. Like They are forcing you to play a style that you don't want to play, and I feel a lot of people don't want to play like that. You know, since I phased out a competition a bit as it started becoming a thing, one trend I noticed a lot of teams say, and I can kind of see what they mean, is that it almost felt like you didn't have enough variety on default. Like you kind of just knew every team was gonna have like three people towards the bottom of that A ramp and two people are gonna be like holding passive B stairs. And it was kind of these like awkward fights. Jeez, how much control do they have at the end right now, Caserato? I mean, he's just the one here, high frag position, kind of best rifler on the team. But he's in no man's land, doesn't have cover. Has the off angle and I guess that's good enough. Two headshots for him, oh even adds a God. third. Wow, there has been no footing for Sharks when it comes out mid. Here's the thing though, Valve knew that Vertigo needed work, but they also knew that the community was stubborn and complacent when it came to map pool changes. So the only way they could actually improve on the new map was to literally force it into competitors' hands. And that's exactly what they did. The CS community is annoying. You can't throw it in there, and if you throw it into matchmaking, people aren't gonna pick it. They're not going to play it. They still don't, even when it's even in there to learn it. They won't do it. Players will not do it unless you like force them. So you have to like, that's as far as Valve can go to forcing you to try it and, and do new things. Slowly but surely, the devs kept tuning the map, making a ton of changes, some slight and some significant, which of course led to even more complaints. It's not a competitive map and they, they're changing it every few months still because it's so broken. So there's just no time to even, as it, we've practiced it a little bit and then right when we're done practicing, they, they go ahead and change it again. So they just need to get rid of it. But for all the players who hated the map, there were some who actually found it refreshing. Uh, at the time, I, I liked it a lot, and 
I definitely like the fact that Valve was finally changing something up since the game has kind of been the same game for a while. And uh, I don't know, I, it, it was a different take on like a, a CS map. And I'd say uh, it was a lot more like aim centric. So on paper, I thought I would really like it. As the months and years wore on, more competitors didn't just embrace Vertigo, they innovated on it. Looks like they have set up for this boost again, Lauren. It's just a whole new look. I was really just worried about these double orbs of Art and Henny being able to smash them down range. But now this just change up is, like you said, look at this. It's one man holding A. So nice. And he has to be on for a multi. You, like The reason I say that is when the kill initial kill comes in, the thieves are not going are to know how to that? call that. It's like, oh, he's up. I've never seen it. Like, they are going to be shell-shocked from this boost. This is... Not, I'm not going to say map breaking by any means. Once it's figured out, it's figured out. But this is gnarly stuff to be they've seen. They mollied this off, so they feel well, watch safe. Watch this. Here we go. Sees the feet. He's, He's going to have no call. idea. They Where's can't call, the call? this. Whoa, great. Look at this. Oh, my God, Yuri. That's perfect. This boost is nuts. So not fully against them, kind of throwing caution in the wind, even though it's such an important moment. Run boost is out. Mayor, he gets the kill off it, too. Twist has popped off. Is it true that even today, Vertigo still has a ton of problems? Yeah, but it's also true that keeping it in the map pool is crucial for the future of Counter-Strike. The Vertigo, in my opinion, is one of the best maps in map pool right now because uh, because of tactic stuff. Tactical stuff is really interesting. You can do a lot of things. You can rush there. You can do a lot of fakes. Yes, it needs to stay in the map pool. Without question, it needs to. The only way for a bad map to become a good map and eventually a great map is to subject it to the kind of stress testing that only the greatest players on Earth are capable of carrying out, whether they want to or not. It's happened before and it can happen again. The original overpass. The map was dog shit, all right? It was awful, it was disgusting, everyone hated it. It took them years. And now it's like arguably my favorite map, maybe the best in the pool. It, but that stuff takes time and you need the best players in the world playing on it or you can never make adjustments. You can never really find the flaws of the map if the highest, most paid players, most individually skilled players are not testing it for you. And while there's no denying that part of Counter-Strike's charm stems from the fact that some of the maps are older than the kids playing on them, change doesn't just need to be encouraged. It needs to be inevitable. I love novelty in the map pool. I love like when there, there when there's new colors added in. Like as someone who's played Dust Two for like 20 years, I don't mind having that in, in the pool. But um, and I think that's really cool and creates its own meta game. The more the longer you have a map, but yeah, you know I'm, I don't mind it. I think you know it's the same thing that happened with Cobble. Defaulting on Cobble got stale, and so they need to change something. So I think sometimes with maps, you realize people figure out a way to kind of play a default one style and it gets kind of uh, bland and then you're like, okay, well, this is lame. The reality is that whether the community likes it or not, Vertigo has changed CSGO for the better. Not only has the map itself improved, it's paved the way for even more radical injections into the competitive rotation. Ancient, Valve's very own in-house take on Aztec, had yet to be put through the ringer when it replaced Train in the active duty pool back in May. But as soon as it came out, competitors flocked to it. And what's more, they actually had tons of fun on the map. <laughs> I thought you were holding that. He's up B ramp all the way. What the, what the, what the, what? Man, 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 what the silence off is this? Ooh. Totally unrelated, he could have an off. The silence off, baby, going to work. So are you free to not like Vertigo? Absolutely. But maybe instead of complaining about how awful and unfixable it is, show it some respect. Because whether or not this silly skyscraper is actually structurally sound, it has done and will continue to do wonders for the future of CSGO. Yes, hello, what do you want, Kat? Are you coming in now? She's so terrified, she hates the filming stuff. Oh, she's going back. She's not interested. She's like, she like came to the door and looked in and saw all this and just like, like the, like the uh, Grandpa Simpson meme. I wonder what it is. You get the green screen, she's like, what is that thing? She, she hates any kind of change of any sort. If, if, a CS player. Yes, much like a CS player, my cat hates change. 
and when the green screen gets folded up and a chair and the chair comes in here that's not so, usually here like a chair from the the dinner table she's like oh this is bad i'm out no 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 thank you also the the blinds are drawn right now and the primary reason she likes this room is looking out the window